the download is done so let's exit this and it is on the desktop but I'm not gonna open that zip archive just yet because I have an SD card I need to format. Now what I did is I took the memory card, the micro, and I put it into the SD adapter. And now just so you know, you cannot use anything more than a 32 gigabyte card in these older Garmin's and the Nuvies. That is the maximum it will support. So don't use a 64, it will not work. 32 maximum. So I go to format this and the only thing you have to make sure of is that it is a FAT32 and I just set this to default allocation 29.7 which is fine quick for, there's no reason to slow format it so don't bother with that so we're gonna and it's really fast you're gonna format it oh my god ah! that's it done now go into I, it's probably mine assigned it to drive letter G. It will be something different again. I'll cover this in the book So anyway, there, there's nothing on this So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the blank part over here and right-click and do a new folder and call it G A R M I N Just like that so that's the Garmin folder and I'm going to open that up and see we're in the Garmin folder and it's blank. Then I open up this, which is the zip file I just downloaded. And now I'm using the, the native Windows 10 zip support. You don't need 7-zip or anything like that. You can just double click it and it should open up. Anyway. So I'm going to right click that and copy as GMAP SUP, which is a supplemental map, and that's fine. And then I will go back over to the SD card into the Garmin folder and right click and paste that right in there. And it's going to take a while. Uh, this is an almost four gigabyte file. So I'll get back to this once it's done. It probably would be faster on USB 3.0, but that's not what this is. As you can see, it's only got a six megabyte a second speed, which is fine. Anyway, get back to this once it's done.